good morning and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Nala and her trainer Fred. And what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Nala's ability to understand and respond to formal obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give the correction. And the only correction that we give is a little tug and let go on the training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Nala has been fitted and will be coming home with her very own training collar. And you'll be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session tomorrow. Now the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper, walking on a leash, and the command is Nala heal. At this point, Nala has a job to do, and that is to stay even with Fred's left leg when walking, and each time that he stops his feet for any reason, she should sit automatically without being told to wait for her next command. So this makes walking her more of a pleasure, and she'll get more walks because she is a pleasure. And when you stop to talk to a neighbor or cross the street, she should sit automatically at your left to wait for her next command. And you see her following right along with Fred, looking up at him and waiting for her next command. And the next command that we're going to demonstrate for you is the stay. The stay. stay is a hand and a voice command, and because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one-word command. No. Now she laid no. down on that sit stay, so Fred told her no. He gets her up, he's going to bring her back around, and this is what you do if she makes a mistake. Okay. He leaves her in another sit-stay. She has to complete the command the way it was taught. The long sit-stay, when you're practicing at home, you're going to start out for one minute and work up to three. When Fred returns back to her, he will walk all the way around her as an additional distraction, returning all the way back around where they started at heel pos position. He gives her a little pat for praise and they take off healing again. And remember, a lot of these exercises can be practiced and should be practiced indoors as well as outdoors because wherever you practice obedience is where you're going to get your best behavior. So nice healing. She's right with Fred. Each time he stops, she sits automatically. Stay. No. She's anticipating. The smart ones always do. So practice lengthening out those sit stays in your home. You don't have to go outside. This time, instead of returning back to her, Fred's going to call her. And he calls her in, and she should come right in front and sit. And that eliminates all the jumping all over you and all of that and keeping in mind that she is young but she's going to be a big girl and she has to know who the boss is now nice healing nice automatic sets and we've noticed with Nala that you get a lot more flies with sugar than you do with vinegar and she wants to be encouraged and she enjoys being praised so you're always walking a fine line when you're working with her because she doesn't do well with any kind of correction she doesn't do well and we'll talk about that when you come to pick her up Fred's going to call her again out of this sit stay he praises her on the way in so that she knows that coming to you is always a good thing she comes in front and sits, and then she goes back to heel and back sitting. Very nicely done. Now the next exercise that we're going to be demonstrating for you are going to be your down commands. And if you notice, the dog always stays on your left during the whole training exercise. Fred's going to use his left open palm straight down toward the ground in the one word command to down and stay. In your long down stays, you should lengthen out from three minutes, working up to five minutes. This helps to develop focus and attention span and maturity and self-control. All of the things that these adolescent dogs are lacking, not just Nala, 
When Fred returns back to her, he walks all the way around her just as he did on the set stay. And she should remain lying there until she gets praised and gets another command. And we will demonstrate that down from a heel position again for you. Your down commands are very important. Left open palm straight down toward the ground. One word command to down and stay. And you're going to practice all of your exercises on leash at home first. This time Fred will call her out of that. You see her coming in with her tail wagging and then she goes back to heel and back sitting. Everything starts and stops at heel position. Now the next exercise that we're going to be demonstrating for you is your down from a distance and this is a little bit harder exercise to teach because you're not right next to the dog. You're going to leave her in a sit stay. Turn to face your dog at the end of your training leash. Fred's going to use his right hand to give the command. Perfect. That's your down from a distance. Now we've demonstrated for you all of Nala's formal obedience commands, her healing, her automatic sits, her stays, her down, her down from a distance, and her come. These are the exercises that you're going to be practicing with her at home. We'll be here for you to answer any questions and help you work through anything that goes on with her at home. We'll be sitting down tomorrow and going over everything that we've learned about her. We've enjoyed having her, and we want to thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.